What's up, everyone? Here we are, Dave Juicebox, doing another uh, Morphonauts video review. And of course, it is Master Chief. Um, this is, again, another awesome Morphonauts figure. Um, stop me if you've heard that one before. Yeah, so um, just spoiler alert, just like all the other ones, love it. <laughs> uh, this is an amazing Master Chief. I think this is from Halo Infinite. I kind of stopped paying attention after uh, Reach. <laughs> so my bad on that one. But um, I've always enjoyed Halo up until, what, Reach? Yeah, I think that was the last one I really played. So it's been a while. Um, but, you know, amazing design. What's interesting about this figure is that... Um, it's Master Chief, and one of the comparisons you've probably heard me make uh, with Morphonauts is uh, Mega, Contra uh, Mega Constructs, Mega Blocks. And this is basically <laughs> the Morphonauts, you know, version of what Mega Blocks is probably most uh, well known for. So, uh, let's take a look at this guy and. Uh, see what the story is. It's, uh, of course, Master Chief, you know who he is. Comes equipped with his AR. He also does come with a plasma sword that I have not painted yet, because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> um, it looks good. Good looking uh, plasma sword. It looks like it'll fit in his hand, uh, no issues. I'm just like, paint wise, I'm like, hmm, how am I gonna do this? Never painted a plasma sword before, so that's my challenge. Um, AR fits very nicely in his hand. Um, let's see if we can do a little two-handed posing. It's a little bit difficult. It looks like the butt of the rifle kind of... Oh, there we go. That's good. That's good. All right. Yeah, look at that. Fuzz there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Super simple. It's Master Chief. What else do you need, right? Um, I'll tell you what you need. You need good articulation. We're going to go over that articulation, then I'm going to tell you about how I painted him. So, um, head, uh, helmet is removable. I went ahead and left the head unpainted, because honestly, I mean, who wants to see an unhelmeted Master Chief? I mean, they, they would never do that, right? Um, double ball, ball peg, uh, neck, head. Gives you great range. Um, ball, double ball peg goes from shoulder into torso, so really good range there. You know, sort of butterfly movement going forward and back. We've got a swivel, goes into the elbow area, uh, attached to a ball peg that goes into the bicep. So that gives you up, down, left, right. Ball peg. Goes into the hand. Let's see. Uh, go up, down, all around. By the way, he does come with two sets of hands: uh, gripping hands and sort of gesturing, holding hands. So you can use those in a variety of uh, ways, depending on how you want to pose your chief. Um, hands on the hips. We've got a double ball peg that goes from the upper torso to the lower torso, giving you really good range. We've seen that ab crunch before. I cannot enjoy a figure if it does not have good ab crunch, and all these Morphonauts do. Um, single ball peg goes into the lower torso, waist. Ball pegs at the hips, give you good range. Double swivel at the knee, brings you back that far. Ball peg attached to the foot goes into the ankle, up down, simulates some rocker movement. It's not huge, but it's certainly enough to get your feet planted on the ground. And if you got rocker angles and your feet aren't planted on the ground, what are you doing? So right there. 
we got a Master Chief. Um, Paint-wise, this was super simple. Uh, base coat of flat black. I think I left, again, the majority of the figure assembled. I think I just attached, detached the legs, the upper torso, and that was it. Spray-painted a layer of matte black. Spray-painted a layer of olive green. Brought him back. Um, then I did a... I had to do a layer of dry brushed uh, green over that. Then I did a layer of, then I did the wash, black wash. And I did, you know, painting the black parts. Then I did the silver dry brushing to get the wear and tear. That is Master Chief. Let's take a look at some comparisons. And this one, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. You've had the best. I try the rest. Mega blocks. Oh, isn't that cute? Um, yeah, this is the most, you know, viable comparison, I guess there is. <laughs> this, a, in terms of small scale, articulated Spartan figures, this is, this is what you got. And I think the choice is clear. Um, they are not apples to apples, but again, you know, when it comes to small scale, articulated figures, you don't have a lot of options. So, um, wow. There you go. What else do we have? Get this guy out of here. Warhammer Space Marine, a different kind of Space Marine. And then a... Clone Commando. So, um, another Fantastic Morphonauts figure. Uh, sorry, <laughs> if you watch these videos, you're probably going to hear that a lot. It's a great figure. It's, uh, you know, if you're a fan of Halo, um, this is another figure that honestly you could buy a dozen of them and just paint them up in Skittles colors. Um, I've got, it, it took me a whole lot of self-control not to paint this in a non-Master Chief color scheme. Um, but I figured since this was a, you know, hey, this is my first one, let's go ahead and um, do it up classic. We'll do Master Chief, um, you know, and then if I get some more, we'll do Skittles colors. You know, let me know what you want to see. Um, oh, one other thing. One more thing. The gold. The gold on the visor. That is something I do want to call out because I, I don't know about you, <clears throat> if you paint and you paint in acrylics, finding a good acrylic brushable gold, I don't know, It's it was very tough for me. Um, I was really happy with what I found for um, this. I actually bought it a while ago, and I don't paint in gold a lot, so I guess I don't really use it a lot, but this, I mean, hey, Master Chief, you want a gold visor, right? Um, I got this stuff, I think, at Walmart, or like Michael's or something, <laughs> just like folk art. I'm pretty sure that's just, you know, pretty basic acrylic paint um that you would find at walmart or michael's and dude it is sick like um i think i did like two two layers look how shiny that is um dries quickly you need some good gold uh and it's cheap folk art treasure gold um so there you have it master chief morphonauts morph thank you so much for uh including this guy in the package she was a blast to paint another great design and if you have any questions or, you know, anything on your mind, leave a comment, send me a message, check out my Instagram, and I will see you when I see you. Take care.